How to sing on pitch. Hi guys, my name is Ken Templin. Welcome to Ken Templin Vocal Academy. And um, it turns out this is a pretty expansive subject um, because whether you're a professional at the highest level or you're just someone having fun singing in the shower, everyone deals with pitch issues. Now, they may vary in the degrees of pitch, but everyone has to concentrate on their pitch. So if you're out there and you feel like you suck, don't be so hard on yourself. We all work on this stuff. It's not, we weren't born one day just singing in perfect pitch, okay? So, but I wanna cover a couple things. The first thing is we have to build this from the ground up. So, as I've said in many of my videos, if you haven't seen my video on diaphragmatic support, please go back and watch that first and get an understanding of the basic building blocks, the rudimentary and fundamentals of the engine that drives your car because it's this rudder of the ship that's gonna steer that ship, which is the engine, your abdomen, your, uh, your um, diaphragmatic support, and the sails that are gonna be anchored to this engine that's gonna determine our destination and how off we're gonna be in certain areas. So we might blame uh, pitch on something else when it actually started at the core, which was the engine that drives our car, which is diaphragmatic support. So now that I got that out of the way, I wanna discuss uh, different timbral sounds or different color that people sing in. So now not everyone is expected to sound the same. Of course not, that's why we're all diverse and we love variety. However, um, a person that colors or darkens their sound, they're gonna sound more flat or below the flat line of a specific note. They're gonna sound under pitch compared to someone that has a brighter timbral sound, right? Now, the brighter timbral sound, remember we, I've said this over and over, ping is king. You really want that bright, it's the la, ah, 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 bright sound, because that bright sound, if we develop it correctly, is the most transparent sound that we could have in leaving us naked in December's snow and seeing the transparency of pitch. So if the sound is colored or covered or darkened, it's easier to kind of muddle your way through and you can't quite hear, you can't really tell the exactness or preciseness of the pitch, whereas if it's a bright timbral sound, you can. Now I've also said this from day one, of way back when I first started teaching. Guys, record yourself and listen to yourself back so you can hear what your mean average of pitch is relative to a chord or an instrument that you're playing, a piano, a guitar, or whatever. Now, I wanna discuss this idea of the coloring of the sound, and then I'm gonna get into helpful hints on how to get to the pitch correctly. But if, if, I'm a, if there's a guy that comes in and he's, and he's real colored, right? There's a big difference in that guy compared to right? The guy that's bright is gonna actually be kind of right smack dab in the square of pitch, should be, or maybe even a little sharp. Now, I like to start there because you can develop a lot of bad habits by coloring a sound. Now, does that mean we always sing with a bright timbral sound? No, of course not. We can use color and we can darken sounds for color all the time. But once we've developed that transparency of being able to see and crystal clear, be able to hear that pitch, we can add all the color that we want to the sound. So I recommend starting with a brighter tone. Now, when we go into these scales, I'm just gonna do a simple triad. There's a tendency to have a diphthong or to scoop up into the notes. And that's just fishtailing, creating a really bad habit. We really want to get the exactness of the pitch, so we want to go. And how I do it is by raising the soft palate in the back of the throat, ah, 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 and creating as much space as I can. I come in from behind the note and I drop down on the note instead of pushing up to the note, which has a tendency psychologically to um, hurt confidence and to think of always pushing, always arduously going up to a note. No, I wanna come in from behind the note. So it's kind of funny. When I think of coming down off of a scale, have you ever taken a slinky and you take the slinky, if you use the note, well, a slinky is it's kind of like a coil that the children played with that goes shh, 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 right? I think of taking a slinky and letting it kind of go down the stairs um, as, as, you know, as I'm letting this thing roll down the stairs, I psychologically think of myself coming down off the notes like that. In the same way with the slinky, when you have weighted slinky and you've got the slinky going upstairs, the slinky goes up the one stairs and it kind of whips around and then it 
pops to the next stairs and then it whips around again and it pops up to the next one. Well, I want you to think of that in the context of how we're about to do these scales of instead of pushing up to the note, we're gonna come in from behind the note and drop down on it, so. La. You hear I'm not going la and straining in the sound, I'm coming in from behind and dropping down. Okay, now, one more thing. It's really good to identify the notes that you're singing right out of the gate. So if I'm gonna go la, 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 la. Right? So again, get your recorder out and listen. Am I below the pitch? La, la, or above it? La, la, or am I right in the center, right spot on in the ping of the pitch? La, 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 Play some games with yourself to see how many times you can hit that and say, La, uh, 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 and see how many times you can successfully ping that note, ping that note, ping that note over and over again to get that pitch. Now, I, I, I know too that singing in a cappella does help us attain good pitch if we can stay in the mean average of pitch through a two minute song or a one minute song or at least a verse and a chorus of something. However, we have to develop good pitch habits first with a music bed or an instrument to get the muscle memory first and develop good quality pitch with consistency, then we can move on and develop even farther uh, by doing acapella exercises or and or sing um, songs in acapella. So hopefully you guys appreciated this. Um, if you like what you heard, please like and subscribe to my channel and we have more on your way. Fun to strive!